I began at, at PepsiCo, I spent 13 years there in, uh, in the beverage uh, business and uh, really I think PepsiCo teaches you how to do true consumer marketing and do marketing on the biggest stage. I ended my career at PepsiCo going into managing a business that Pepsi had acquired, a small company, Sobe Beverages, and uh, I ended up as the general manager of that business and wanted to continue my career in general management. And so I left the company and went to manage a, bit, a portfolio of personal care brands for Henkel, it was the former Dial Corporation, and uh, managed that business for five years. And then I guess made a complete, another complete right turn into video games. And uh, video games at Nintendo uh, is the role is a sales and marketing role, so it's very much still in the general management uh, direction, but it's a, it's a regional role, so responsible for the Americas. The connections between the, the three are, uh, you know, are not as obvious. In PepsiCo, it's very much, uh, the marketing is, is very personal in the sense that consumers, when they drink a beverage brand or choose a beverage brand, it says something about their identity. Um, when you put on a, choose a personal care product, you're, it's, you're presenting your face to the world. So it's a very personal product as well. And gaming is uh, a very high engagement category. People um, really are put, project themselves into the game. All three have been meaningful marketing in, in one respect, and then it's more than it's a, they're all high involvement choices and high involvement categories, gaming being the highest. I would contend potentially there was, there was three things that, that pushed me into this role today. One, um, when opportunity knocked, I answered the door. Mm -hmm. I took the jobs that, that a lot of other people didn't take. In my career, I've had three cross-functional moves, um, and, and two of those moves were, were moves that I think other people would have looked at and said, no, I'm not interested in it. Mm -hmm. But as a, as a general manager and as a leader, I think I built some of my best skills in those roles. So take that, that path um, less taken. That's the first one. Second, um, I would contend that put yourself into some really difficult situations where, where you don't know what the answer is. Because only then will you start to ask the right questions to get to the right answers. My experience um, in, in craft is our cross-functional teams, our leaders, our business people first, and their functional experts sec second. I have found that when you ask the right question, you always get to the right place. And so you don't have to have the right answer. Ask the right question. And the third one for me is um, I have benefited by being cross business unit and, 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 in, and in different cultures. Um, you understand how to communicate clearly when you are surrounded by a team where English is the second language um, or where you're, you're put in an environment where nobody speaks your language. You very quickly get to short, concise, constructive communication. So I think those three things were probably the defining moments for me and I think helped shape me for this role. I would say be open to all possibilities. I never would have predicted that my career path would have been what it is. It's been much more of a career adventure than it's been a career ladder. But every experience I've had from driving a route truck from Frito-Lay to spending time in Japan learning about video games to um, being in a very small business environment today where I have to be much more hands-on, each of those has really contributed to my success as an executive and as a marketer. Two and a half years ago, I used to say, I don't think I resemble any other CMO because I don't have a brand background, I actually don't have an MBA, etc. And I think I've gone from being the exception to maybe being the rule. I don't come up through the marketing discipline. If you were to look at my background, you'll see that I've been a business guy first and a marketer guy second. I was lucky enough to be a three-time startup CEO, etc. But I think that, again, is becoming more of the general rule because marketers are now business people first. Probably the most useful skill I had was I learned to read a balance sheet. And being able to think that way, think on behalf of the business, is probably the thing that turned me into a CMO. Because when the discipline of marketing pivoted to become, how do you become the accelerator of the company's strategy or even the decision there, then you need to have a general business background as much as you need to have a marketing background.